How much of this is a surprise to you? Well, when you go into these elections, you have to sort of give the impression that you think you can win, but you're never sure, and uh, I was never sure until I pushed myself over the 50% line, and I'm just grateful uh, to Council for supporting me, uh, and I hope I won't let them down. And I really look forward to working with Marie and Minette, uh, and uh, yeah, bring on the next two years. What are your plans for the next two years? What would you like to see the, the happen in the union? Uh, early days, it, yeah, and uh, I, you know we must acclimatise and settle, uh, and um, before we start making big announcements, uh, Marig is the lead man, and I follow his lead. Uh, but obviously, as you know, I have a passion for explaining our industry better to non-farming audiences, uh, and I hope that this role will give me that opportunity to do that even more. There's a lot of support out there for you on social media and that kind of thing. You're very media savvy. We've had a new election system with weighted voting this time. You're, you're the East Anglian representative, as it were, of, of, of the, on the NFU top table. Does that come with a lot of responsibility? Of course, uh, and I, I'm glad that we have a good regional sector balance uh, amongst the team. But obviously, from now on, I don't just speak for East Anglians. I speak for all NFU members, east, west, north and south, across all sectors, and I'm mindful of that. Um, yeah, social media is fun uh, and it's powerful. Uh, and I'm glad that I'm slightly uh, further up the tree than someone using it.